I'm Rachel. My name's Lauren, uh, and I'm a student at UF taking a class online uh, called Principles of Entrepreneurship. And I was just wondering if it's okay if I record an interview with you um, today. Yes, that'd be great. Okay, just a warning. I'll probably be around 10 to 15 minutes, just letting you know. Okay. Okay, so uh, are you a college student? Yes, I go to UF. Oh, awesome. And are you 21? Yes, I am. Awesome. Do you like to go tailgating on uh, Gator game days? Yes, I like to go to the frat houses with my friend Maddie. So we do that like every time there's a home game. So yeah, I love <laughs> doing that. Oh, it's so fun. I love doing that too. It's one of the best parts about being a UF student. So uh, I talked to some other um, UF students who also enjoy tailgating and saw that they also had a problem with their drinks getting warm too fast and I talked to them about some alternatives and the ones that they stood out to help solve their problem but doesn't really help solve their problem uh, for the most part is Yeti cups which are metal cups that keep your drink um, colder for longer. Have you heard of those? I haven't actually so those are completely new to me. Oh well they're usually like $50 online. They're like this big mm -hmm. and um, they usually work really well. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's also Tervis tumblers, uh, which are plastic cups, which keep your drinks colder usually for longer. And then they just said the regular, normal alternatives like ice and um, uh, coolers with ice and uh, koozies. Mm -hmm. um, so out of those alternatives, which one would you probably choose on a regular game day to keep your drink um, colder for longer? I would probably pick the Yeti cup. You said it was the most expensive option, but if it's like the most quality, I would be willing to pay more money for it. And also I would invest in something that uh, has good quality because I go to these games like every other weekend or I try to go to as many games as possible. So yeah, I'd probably invest my money in the Yeti cup if it was of good quality. Oh, so um, the quality, would you say, is the most important to you when you're picking out products? Um, depending on how many times I'm planning on using it, yeah, quality for sure is probably my number one. Thing that I look into when I buy products. Okay. The issue that the others had with that was um, they love the Yeti cups when they were at home and using it, but for these games, they usually are going to a frat house and then the game and they don't like carrying it. Mm -hmm. Do you usually bring a bag and you're just fine or? I do bring a bag. I don't really like carrying many things because like I'm afraid I'm going to lose it or you like you're usually drunk or intoxicated when you're at these like social events, so I probably won't really be keeping track of my stuff. So yeah, I guess that would be something to consider when like thinking about the Yeti cup and if I'd use it. Yeah, so when choosing, you do you take all those into account, do you, but yeah. for the most part, quality. For the most part, quality. Um, I'd say game days are kind of out of the ordinary because everyone does lose their stuff mm -hmm. and just everything gets misplaced and that they don't look at like, you want something that's cheap, that's easy to take and whatnot. But yeah. maybe somewhere in the middle or mm -hmm. like... Yeah, somewhere in the middle for sure. But I'm, I definitely lean more towards quality. Like that's just like what I care about the most. Oh, awesome. Um, and so that's, would say like your defining factor if you're picking out anything. You... Mm. Oh, nice. Um, so when you do go shopping, do you usually um, buy online or do you go to a store? Um, I usually go to the store. I don't really like buying things online. Um, I know it's usually cheaper that way, but I just like I'm not really technologically savvy. So like I the first it's just like the easiest thing for me is just, just to go to the store then like sit at home and do research on what's cheaper and like take the time to go to all these websites to save money. I'm probably just lazy. So it's just easier for me to go to the store and see if what I want is there. Oh, totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, personally, like I just do Amazon and I know there's probably cheaper but that's just easy for me mm -hmm. but going to the stores are nice because you get to like actually feel the product and look, try check it out on. if it's clothing it's so much easier to try things on because online you're just kind of like gambling to see if something will fit you once like it, you get it in the mail oh yeah I never buy online for clothing unless like I'm really pressed for time or I really can't find anything and mm -hmm. I know they have like a great return policy mm -hmm. for sure yeah but yeah, the in-store is nice because you can look at it, make sure it looks like it works, and you can compare it against other um, items, mm -hmm. which is nice. Um, so when you do um, buy something, after you buy them, uh, is there anything that you look back at to be like, based on the rightness of the purchase? Like, this was a good purchase decision because... 
um, probably relates back to quality. If it kind of met my standards or it didn't break for a really good amount of time while I was using the products, just like that would really impress me and make me want to buy the product again or sometime later in the future or recommend it to friends and all that stuff just to like boost it's the company's revenue for whoever it is. Do you usually do that? If, a, if you really enjoy a product, do you... Refer, Tell, refer, refer to your friends or like post anywhere on websites. Yeah, or... yeah. Usually, like we'll post on Instagram or any sort of like social media platform that I want to like use to express myself. I'll definitely share to my friends so that like it would help the company. Yeah, and so just determining if it was a good pre a uh, good idea. It's mostly just it doesn't break, just <laughs> that it works. <laughs> yeah, well, that's probably like, the lowest the like, lowest standard. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't break. But yeah, also if it exceeds my expectations and it's just a lot better than I even thought it would be, I'll definitely share to my friends and do whatever I can to help it. And is that related to price at all? Like, oh, this was, are you more happy when it was, I don't know, uh, $10 and worked really well rather than something that you paid like $30 and it worked really well? Do you... In all price. honesty, I am so, like, financially supported by my parents, so, like, price doesn't, like, affect me, per se, because it's always, like, my parents' money, but I feel like I'll have that um, monetary pressure more when I'm, like, living on my own and supporting myself, and, of course, it would be nice to save money. That's, like, always a nice thing to do, but I, that's not the first thing I think of when I'm buying a product. That's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, what places in Gatesville do you usually like to shop at? Are you, like, the Walmart person, Target? I like Publix for like just normal day to day like food that I'll eat at home. Um, I don't really go to Walmart because I don't buy in bulk a lot because I like to go out to eat. So I don't really like to like buy a bunch of groceries because I won't cook it. Also, I don't really like to cook, so <laughs> I'll usually just go out to eat all the time. Oh wow, That's I awesome. like restaurants. <laughs> I love that. I hate cooking. My extent of cooking is ramen noodles, so you know. Oh yeah, same. That would be my cooking. <laughs> Microwave is everything I use. <laughs> oh, I get a little fancy. I do it on the stove. Oh my god, that's better than I I'm could convinced ever that feel. tastes so much better. <laughs> that's everybody says, but I just don't care enough to try it. <laughs> so, are there any things that make um, you think a purchase was a bad idea? Are you like, if you buy something and your friend comes home and she's like, oh my gosh, that company, have you heard what they're doing? Or they were just like, oh, that looks weird. Or. Um, anything or just breaks that makes yeah. you think of a that's mm -hmm. bad yeah just it breaking or um what like if they had a warranty and then I call the company and I have some sort of like problems with the customer service and they say my warranty wasn't covered or something like that because I had that happen with Apple my phone broke once and um, I thought I was under the warranty and I found out that I wasn't at the time so I had to pay like $300 for a phone so I had to actually talk to the manager and try to like settle everything and he actually let me like have the phone for free because there's something just wrong in the system or I don't even know what happened but yeah customer service also is another thing I definitely consider um, heavily one like thinking about if a product was good or not Oh, so does um like guarantees affect your purchase decision? Like if you're looking at a product and it says lifetime guarantee and another product that's cheaper but um it looks like the same quality, would you buy the one with the lifetime guarantee or the regular one? Probably the lifetime guarantee is definitely something I would consider because my dad, when uh, we had the problems with the phone, like he obviously paid for it. But um, he usually doesn't like to like get warranties and stuff like that. But I've realized that over time, it really does pay off. Just that like because like maybe I'm just very irresponsible, but my phone breaks a lot. So like if we didn't have a warranty, um, it would have been a lot harder to like you just have to keep buying the product over and over again. In the end, it would save you more money if you just had the warranty in the beginning. So I, I think I would lean more towards like the product with the warranty versus the one without. That makes sense. I always choose the warranties because. I'm a very unlucky person. My products <laughs> always enjoy breaking. Exactly. That happens to me all the time. We have bad luck. <laughs> yeah. And you said customer service is important. So mm -hmm. uh, if you did have a product that broke and customer service was just like terrible, would you be someone that would uh, like probably comment online about your yes. bad experience or... Yeah, because people leave, like, a lasting impression. Sometimes I'll think of, like, the person I bought the product from more than, like, the product itself. Like, people really do leave, like, a lasting impression on me. So, yes, if, like, I was really upset by customer service at a restaurant that happened to me once at, at an Italian restaurant. Um, the waitress was just very rude, and she wouldn't, like, want to split the check, so she made it very hard for, like, the big group to, um pay for our food so yeah like we posted online everybody did like on Yelp or something just complaining about the service and 
because it's not right when you go to get the service and it's not up to par you're because you're upset so you're going to want to express your feelings at the time that makes sense i mean i hate when that happens mm -hmm. i've had so many bad waitresses too mm -hmm. everything. well um i think that's everything thank you so much for your time today thank it was you, great Lauren. talking to you awesome thank you